Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a net for a dodecahedron and a mini picture of the completed dodecahedron. So we'll start with a blank canvas and the first tool that we'll look at is the stars and polygon tool. If I click that you see I've already changed the number of corners I've clicked polygon rather than star and changed the number of corners to five left the other boxes at zero, so you may need to do that first. Now if I click and drag, you can see it sort of rotate at the same time, doesn't really matter for this uh, tutorial, and then select the select tool. I'm going to remove the fill by clicking the red cross down here, and I'm going to duplicate, control D to duplicate. If I drag this across, so the corners bump, you see the little red cross form to indicate that they've snapped together there. If that's not happening, just check that you've got this group of snapping tools turned on and snap to paths and snap to cusp nodes on and also snap to items rotation centre uh, on as well. Okay, now clicking a second time on this second pentagon, its rotation centre comes up. I want to move it to this corner here and rotate it about there. So now if I grab a corner and rotate, you see it snaps on there. Again, what I'm going to do now is grab that rotation center. Actually, I'll du uh, yes, I'll duplicate Control D first, but it has the same rotation center, the duplicate, so I'll drag it to the center of this other, the first pentagon. You can see it's confirmed by cross there. Now I will rotate, well actually I won't do it manually, I could, but uh, by just rotating around this way and snapping on, but uh, I'll go back, Control Z, and show you another way, and that is to bring up the transform menu, Control Shift M, and click on rotate, well, I've already had this set up obviously, but click on rotate, change it to 72 degrees, and click apply. There, there we go. Then Control D, apply, Control D, apply, Control D, apply. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, Control mouse wheel, and drag, drag a marquee around the flower petal. Just drag it a bit further out of the way here. Now I'm going to Control D to duplicate that entire lot. I actually probably should have gone Control G to group it then Control D to duplicate the group, it's a bit neater, and drag it across until a couple of corners snap there. Click an edge again, you can see the rotation centre for this group, and I'm going to move that rotation centre to this corner here, where they meet. Now click a corner, rotate around until they snap together. Now if I shift click the other group of petals, drag it across. Now I must have duplicated twice so I'll just get rid of, oh that's a bit of a mess. Let me, I've got a lot of mess going on. I'll just delete that one. Uh, this is not group so I'll just regroup it. I'll move this one back there. Okay, now I might uh, group the lot. Oops. Let's check I've got a group, yep, control G and move that in the position here. Now it's uh, not a bad idea to colour it if you're showing this on a data projector. If you're photocopying it you'd leave it uh, black and white for people to, to uh, photocopy onto uh, white paper. Or well, I suppose you could photocopy it on coloured card as well. If I click the yellow down here to fill them and if I want to change, say, just a couple of uh, shapes, I can hold down Control to select a shape within a group. I think Control Shift will let me do the second one, yep. And click red, and you've changed the centres there. So there's a nice view of a net for a dodecahedron. Just before we finish, I'd like to show you a great feature in Inkscape, if you haven't seen this before. Extensions, Render, 3D Polyhedron, and on the model file, change to dodecahedron. On the view, 
I changed this uh, setting, the x-axis rotation to 30 and y to negative 15. You can leave those as they are, but if you want to see what it looks like, click Live Preview, and you can drag this box out of the way. I'll just wait for it to finish rendering. It says it's not responding, but it will. There we go. You can drag that box out of the way. If you're happy with that, you can click, uh, I think you can click Close without applying. I'm hoping so. Maybe you have to click apply first, then close. <laughs> Spectacular failure. Okay, back to extensions. Render, 3D polygon. I'm just going to click apply because it still retains those settings. Wait for the box to disappear. And close. And then I'll drag this up into the corner. I might just shrink it down a little bit. Control Shift, click the yellow, change them all to yellow, Control click just to pick out that shape and change it to red, and there's a 3D view of the completed model. And that completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.